Welcome to another KeyShot Quick Tip. In this video, we'll talk about the power of the Colors tab within the Material Library. This is a part of KeyShot that isn't the most well-known, but is definitely capable of boosting your efficiency within the program. The first feature that I'm going to demonstrate is the ability to replace the base color of certain material types without affecting the material itself. You can drag and drop any color onto your part in the real-time view, in the materials list, or in the scene tree. Your material settings, textures, and labels on those parts will not be altered. If the material doesn't update upon drag and drop, it could be an unsupported material type, such as measured metal or a material with a color texture assigned. Within the Colors tab, you'll see generic color swatches, RAL, and Pantone libraries. If you have a defined color palette outside a key shot that you want to use, like I have right here, you can filter these libraries to show the nearest matching colors to the one you want to use. Select a top-level folder or a subfolder to search within. Then click the crosshairs button to launch the color picker. You can define a color here or launch the eyedropper tool to sample a pixel. This color picker can move outside of KeyShot and grab colors from other programs you might have open. Click OK and the selected folder will be filtered to show the top five nearest matching colors. To add colors of your own, select the desired folder. I have a KeyShot Colors folder here. Right-click within the folder and select Add Color. Use the color picker to grab what you want. Then give the color a name and click OK. The color will be automatically added to the selected folder. Thanks for watching this KeyShot Quick Tip. For more helpful content, click the subscribe button. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and share it with your friends.